What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with Zamazenta for Series 10. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Hayden. Hayden, shout out to you. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. I cannot wait to get after it and try this one out on the rank double adder. But guys, if you want to leave me uh, rental codes, leave them down in my Instagram DMs. There's a link down in the description below and my name is right below my face game. I try to get back to everybody as soon as I possibly can. Seriously, I love seeing teams from you guys and I love chatting up with you guys. So if you guys just want to say hi say anything just talk to me over in my instagram dms but before we get started with the team preview i want to go over the sponsorship for today's video and that is into the am if you guys do not know what into the am is it is a men's clothing brand designed for men and style and all that good stuff i'm actually wearing their tank top right now and their beanie right now super comfortable clothing very high quality i absolutely love it and they have styles for all different seasons for summer winter anything you guys need just go check them out. Go pick yourself up some product. I actually got a 10% off code down in the description below. You can use my link or you can just use my code at checkout, which would be jeans. But seriously, their product is amazing. Super comfortable. I wear this tank top to the gym. I have some graphic tees that they sent me that I wear out on the town when I go out with my friends. All different occasions. Just awesome product. Great quality and great prices as well. But let's get started with this team. Top left corner, we have Rillaboom. Grassy Surge ability and that Assault Vest as item. I really don't even need to talk about this Pokemon anymore. He's just so big in Series 10. He's just usually the same thing every single time. We got that Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, Fake Out, and Knock Off for his moveset. Right next to him, we got Landorus. And this Landorus has been being used a lot on the Rank Ladder for Series 10, I should say. This form, we're not seeing the other form as much, the Intimidate form, but this one we've been seeing a ton of. We got Sheer Force ability, Life Orb as an item so he does more damage, Earth Power for Stab, Sludge Bomb for coverage, Weather Ball, and Protect as his final two moves. Middle left, one of my favorite Pokemons used in rank battles. We got Grimmsnarl with that Light Clay and Screens move set. I don't know why, I just love using this Pokemon, so I'm going to be using him a lot and trying to get some wins with it. He also has Spirit Break and Thunder Wave as his other two moves and that Prankster ability. Right next to him is the heart and soul of the team. We got Zaman Senta over here with a Dauntless Shield ability and Rusted Shield item. So every time we get in the battle, he's going to get that bulky plus one stat on his defense. And he's going to be able to rock out and soak up some shots. He's got Iron Head, Crunch, Close Combat for big stat moves, and Protect as his fourth and final move. Bottom left corner is a Pokemon that I'm really like on the edge about i'm really curious to see how this pokemon is going to do and that is lapras over here that's a weakness policy and water absorb with a normal move set of freeze dry thunder and protect and hydro pump but the reason why i'm so like curious to see how it's going to do is because there's no dynamax and this pokemon looks exactly like how we would use it in a dynamax format so it's going to be fun to use them and try to get some wins with that pokemon final pokemon on this team is going to be volcarona i love this pokemon i think it's very underrated and just great all around we have Flame Body and Focus Sash as his item and ability, Rage Powder to protect the ally Pokemon, Heat Wave for Stab, Bug Buzz for Stab, and Protect as his final move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with the Series 10 Zamazen team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video, and we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team. That Pokemon is a beast, very, very strong, so I gotta watch out for it. He also has Levantis on his team, which is pretty cool, and Malmar, so he has a nice little off-meta setup here. He has Twerkle, Bisharp, and Indeedee as his final three Pokemon, so I'm trying to think of how I should go into this one and how I should lead it. He might actually end up leading the Indeedee, which could be decently good for him, so that makes me not want to bring Rillaboom, considering it's Fake Out and it takes out first turn priority with the Grass Glide. I kind of want to lead the Grimstar, and maybe Landorus can come in here first turn. I am digging Lando, so I am going to end up dropping the Lando, and then going Zamazenta. Zamazenta could be good. I definitely want Zamazenta in this battle. Do I want to lead the Landorus? I could lead the Bisharp, and the Bisharp could be scary here as well. Hmm. I actually kind of want to lead the Volcarona. I don't want to lead this Volcarona, and bring Landorus and, uh, and Zamazenta in the back. I'm thinking that a lot. I'm really liking that. Let's get after it. Let's use this team for our first battle. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on the products for Into the AM? I love their products like I talked about in the beginning of the video. I'm sponsored by them, but I'm not just sponsored by them just to have a sponsorship. I'm really sponsored for them because I really do like their products and their quality of their brand. Their brand is amazing, so definitely go check them out. And if you want 10% off their code or off their products, make sure you use my code Jeans in checkout or just use the link in the description below. All you got to do is click that link, and when you go to checkout, you'll get 10% off any of the products store-wide. 
but he ends up going Indeedee and Shadow Rider Calyrex, which is awesome. Or not Shadow Rider, Ice Rider Calyrex. And I could set up a Reflect. I can go for a Heat Wave. I can do a good bit here. I can do a good bit here. Hmm. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do here? I think I just want to go for Heat Wave. He is holding the Seeds, which is nice. So he gets a Special Defense boost, which is bad for us. But, we go for a Spear Break. Is he physical attacking? I think he's physical, right? He's got to be physical. Let's set up this Reflect here. And I guess we'll just go for... I could just rock out with a Bug Buzz. I could protect... But I'm just going to drop a nice big old Heat Wave here. See what we can do with the Heat Waves. And rock up from there. Reflect comes out and about. I think he's physical, right? His regular Calyrex is physical. I would think this one is as well. But we do outspeed, which is awesome. Heat Wave comes through. And we get off some nice damage all around on both these Pokemon. Any burns? No burns. Heal Pulse comes through. Yo, you buttery biscuit. Just like, yo, I'm just going to heal Pulse up on this thing. Smart little play there, though. I'll give it to him all day. I might uh, Thunder on him or Thunder Wave onto him and see what that does. But Glacian Glance is going to come out here, and hopefully we can eat up all day. Right? We should be able to eat up. We have that Reflect. Reflect is lovely. Yep, all day. Big old Reflect. Doing some work here. So, what should I do from here? I think I'm just going to Thunder Wave, slow him down, look for Paralyzed here. Actually, I cannot. I cannot do that. I just realized I cannot do that in the... Because uh, we have the what's called out and about. The terrain. So I'm just going to set up a light screen. And I think I'm just going to go for maybe a Bug Buzz over onto, uh, onto you. I think Bug Buzz would be better. Well, super effective onto uh, him as well. Mm, what should I do here? I think we should go Bug Buzz over onto uh, Indeedee. Might be able to pick up the KO. We'll see. But light screen is out and about before Grimstar does go down. He's going to start getting the chilling nade boost and all that. But I can definitely bring out uh, Damazenta after this and do some work onto that, uh, onto that Calyrex. But down goes Indeedee to a big old Bug Buzz. Volcarona was a great pick for the lead here. And another Glacial Lance coming out here. Grimstar is dead. Volcarona is going to get another turn, which is huge because we know he outspeeds. So that's big. That is big, big. But, again, what's big, big is him getting that big boost right now. Chilling Nade's coming out here, and now he's boosted up. Okay, so we definitely have to get rid of that Pokemon right there. He's got to go. He's got to go. And you're the next Pokemon to come out here. I just want to check his summary, check his speed, and see what he's about with speed. He's 198, and Volcarona's... Oh, my God, yo. Zamazen is totally going to have speed advantage. I can definitely hit him with a big old Behemoth Bash and do some big damage onto that Pokemon. Considering it is a physical attacking shot, and he only has a special defense boost. But he's going to go Lorantis. And I don't know what this Pokemon does, so I'm kind of scared here. Let's see what is, what's going on. It's a little Praying Mantis, which is dope. More importantly, we get a big old defense boost, and I think I'm just going to go Behemoth Bash into him, and I think I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave all around. That's going to be my play. That is the Gene's play here. We should have speed, unless the Lantis is super fast. Again, I do not know his stats, and I don't know what this Pokemon does. I'm honestly kind of scared. It might be Rocket Fake Out. No, it's not. It did not Fake Out. We get off a nice, lovely Behemoth Bash. I don't think it's going to KO because uh, Zamazenta isn't a big physical attacker, but it can do a decent amount of damage here. Let's see. Yep, lovely amount of damage. I think if we hit this Heat Wave... I think we get the KO, right? Let's see. Heat Wave comes out here. Connects on both. Give me the KO on that, uh, on the Calyrex. Yes, sir, yo. Big KO on the Calyrex. We bring down Lorantis to red, and I wonder what this Pokemon's going for. I wonder what he's going for here. Going for a superpower, yo. He's getting after me, yo. He's gonna take me out of here. No, he's not. My boy's bulky. I thought he was going after Volcarona. I thought he was going after Volcarona. He ends up getting the attack and defense boost. Is he, uh, is he contrary? Or, uh... Whatever the Malamar rocks? What, what's that ability again? Is it contrary? It's something along those lines. I, believe, I thought Superpower drops your stats. I think, And then if you have that ability, you'll reverse it. But this is even better for us. He sets up the drought. I'm going to be able to pick up a KO onto that uh, Lorantis. No problem with a... Uh, with a lovely little uh, Heat Wave. I'm actually just going to drop it. Take him out and do a little bit of damage over onto the Torkoal. But he just cancels the battle and we end up getting off to a strong start with a win in battle number one. We got a battle for the ages in battle number two here. We got Zacian versus Zamazenta. Hopefully Zamazenta comes up on top because your boy's using them. But he also has Galarian Zapdos, Whimscott for Tailwind, Regilecki, Lanners, and Incineroar. So his team looks stacked. I'm not even going to lie. It looks stacked. looks heavy, heavy meta. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win and go back to back for today's video. But let's uh let's lead Rillaboom here. Use that fake out to our advantage. He does have Defiant, so I got to watch out for that. And I think we're just going to lead Lanners. I think Landers will be a great lead with Rillaboom here. Uh, Zamazenta in the back. And then final Pokemon. I think Volcarona. I'm thinking Volcarona could be really nice here. Hmm. 
I'm thinking Boca Rona. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's get after it. Let's try to get ourselves a win here. But I'm really scared of this team. I totally am. It looks too good. It looks strong all around. But hopefully he leads like, say, Whimsicott and Regilecki. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Or I don't think he would lead both of them. I think he would lead one or the other. So that's why I'm fine with this team. Considering if he goes into Whimsicott, I can fake him out and go with a Sludge Bomb and take him out from there. Or if he goes Regilecki, I can fake him out and go with the Earth Power. So that's what's so good about this Rillaboom and Landorus combo. It counters up on two of these heavy meta Pokemon that can set up teams for victory like Regilecki and Whimsicott. But let's see. Make a move, my dude. Let's see who this guy leads. Your boy's on a four-game win streak. Going back to last video, we rocking out. It goes Lando for Intimidate and Regilecki. Okay, y'all. Actually, oh, this is the other Lando. My fault. This is the other Lando. So I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this all day. Grass Surge is popping. I think I just fake out Regilecki and drop in Earth Power. Right? Is that the play? Or do I, or do I read a Protect? I don't want to get too, like... I don't want to read too much. But let's just see who he has. So we can't really swap in anybody else who's really going to take these big hits. So I'm just going to go for a fake out on him. And an Earth Power. Let's do it. Let's run it. I think he's going to protect, though. I'm going to be so mad. God dang it, man. What you mean? What you mean? Should have read it all day. Okay, don't protect. I'm totally cool with that. Okay, I'm cool with that turn. Man. I'm totally fine with that turn all around, man. That's fine, man. I thought he was going to get a free shot off, but dude, come on. <laughs> I just had a feeling that Red like it was going to protect, but it didn't matter considering both his Pokemon protect. So I'm totally cool with it. Let's just rock a Glide onto him and then hmm. actually we're just gonna post this threat on this side we're just gonna glide over onto landers here and then i'm just gonna earth power over onto you the no earth power will take out Regilecki if he does the swap and i don't think he's gonna be able to take out my landers here he's gonna end up trying to protect again it failed baby waste of a turn waste of a turn big old glide coming out here our landers is gonna go first we're gonna say hey yo Regilecki, do me a favor get out of my game Get him out of here. We don't need him here. We don't want him here. Go home. Go home, baby. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly through here. Go boom. Eats it up. Tasty stack. Yo, that was tasty cakes right there. That was real tasty cake. So now I can go into another grass glide, even though I know he's gonna protect there. Do I make a hard read? I know he's gonna protect. Because we're grassy gliding over all known. And he knows he's coming for the KO. So I might go for the hard read and just double up into Incineroar here. With a knockoff and earth power. Or he's just gonna fake me out, so I might just go Earth Power into uh I might just go Earth Power in the Grassy Glide. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. Let's go Grass Glide into Earth Power. Let's do it. Even though I think the Lander is gonna protect, maybe not anymore considering he has fake out ready to go. But I wonder who he's gonna fake out. I think either Pokemon who he fakes out is gonna take big damage or he's gonna go down. Well let's see it, dude. We're off to a strong start here. This lead, this lead is just nasty, baby. We running it with it. We getting after it. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Who are you gonna fake out? Because if he fakes out Landers and the Grass Guy takes out uh his Landers, but if he fakes out Rillaboom, then we get off a big Earth Power onto his uh Incineroar, which might be able to pick up the KO considering his stab. It's super effective. We have Sheer Force and we have Life Orb Rocket. So he's gonna end up picking onto that Landers, flinching him. Grass Guy's gonna fly through here. We say, hey yo, your Landers, get out of my game. What? Wait. Wait, what? Wait a minute. One HP, bro? Get out my face. I know we were intimidate dropped, but one HP? Bro, get out my game. We're gonna bring out Zamazenta because I know we have speed with that thing. And we're gonna get our defense boost, but what? Get out my face, dude. Thing really survives on one HP. One, one. Like, get him out of here. We know how fast Zamazenta is, so I do just want to take this thing out. I guess we'll go for a crunch. Don't anything but a close combat right now. We'll actually use we'll actually use Behemoth Bash because it just looks cool. And again, I'm just gonna drop a nice little EP onto this Incineroar. And Incineroar might end up swapping for that Intimidate drop later in the match. But we shall see. Defense is bulked. We're boosted. Incineroar can't really do much. You can go for a flare blitz, but we're gonna be able to eat it up. Let's see, Behemoth Bash comes out. We get this cool animation, which I love so much. Look at that. Face turns into a shield, does a big roar. Goes for giant tackle and bang, dude. Well, how hard do you think that would hurt? Getting hit by a giant metal shield dog. Coming in at like 6,000 miles an hour. Just break your chest. It'll just break your whole body instantly. <laughs> Earth power flies through. Can we get some damage on this thing? That's big. That's big damage. Big old damage there. U-turn's going to pop through here. He's going to get off another Intimidate on my Pokemon. But I'm totally fine with that. 
But he does get off another fake out, so I could just double protect. That might be my play to go for a lovely little double protect. And he gets to show off his final Pokemon, and we still have one more in the back, which is Volcarona, which is awesome. And it's Zastry. So we have Volcarona with the Sash, which is huge. With the Sash. But I feel like this Pokemon is the guy that we have to get rid of. We just have to get after this guy and go from there. Zacian versus Zamazetta in the final wave here. We got defense boost. He has attack boost. He's minus in my attack on my Zamazetta. It doesn't really matter on my landers because we are special attacking. Well, let's see how this one plays out. I wonder who outspeeds. I wonder who's faster. Um, I don't want to go for it. I could go for a close combat. But I don't think it's fine. I could just go for Behemoth Bash. Change my I think we're just going to double protect. He has Sword Stance. I'd cry. If he has Sword Stance, I would cry. Imagine, like, he goes for Fake Out and he sets up a Sword Stance. That'd be nutty. But he double protect first turn. Now we're double protecting, like, last turn. That's it. Double protect. Let's see what he's going to do. Definitely a Fake Out, right? Yep. Fake Out. Blocked. And what are you doing with him? Demon Blade. Blocked. So that is what he wants to look to do. That's what he wanted to look through. So double protect did work in our favor, which is awesome. The grass has disappeared from the battlefield. No more HP. Um, what do I want to do here? Hmm. I think I had to close combat up into this thing. Hmm. Change one to do here. Change one new here. I guess we'll go here and here. Let's we'll go with that play. Let's see if Behemoth Bash comes through. Can we pick up the KO here? Or no, we, we're going after Zassian here. But we outspeed, which is good to know. Which is really good to know. So there's this. I think Lander should be able to outspeed that in Sinwar. So as long as we can eat up a Behemoth Blade from the Zassian, we should be fine here. Let's see what he does. Let's see. Eat this one up. Eat it up all day. Yo, tasty snack. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Tasty, baby. Nope, dude. This Pokemon is broken, dude. He's so strong. He's ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong. Blur Blitz comes through. Should be able to eat that up all day. Right? Tasty snack. Yeah, yo, Zamazetta. Tank it, baby. That's a good battle. Take some nice recoil damage. Now we can bring out Volcarona. Volcarona does have the Sash, which is huge. Sash is huge all around. But we know we outspeed with the, uh... With the Zamazena. And I know Incineroar probably doesn't have Protect. So I think a nice little Behemoth Bash can pick up the KO. Or, you know what, dude? I got to play this one safe. Let's go. Let's do that and go into a Heat Wave. That's my play. That is my play. I'm going to end up protecting you. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. Zamazena is going to be able to outspeed. We get off close combat and we take him out. That is lovely. We get rid of him. I don't care about the defense drop. I just need it to get rid of that Pokemon. And bring this down to a 2v1. Because, again, I know Zamazetta can get off another turn because he's considering he's faster. And Volcarona can potentially get off one. He's guaranteed one. Maybe even two because he has a Sash. That's huge. That is huge. The battle's looking real good for Jeans. We're going to be able to drop another close combat. And Heat Wave is going to be get, able to go out and about. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Yo, Zamazetta better than Zacian? It's looking like it. Nah, yo, Zacian is definitely uh, better in my opinion. But we just outplayed this guy with the Zacian because Jeans is better. Jeans is better, but Zacian ain't better than Zamazetta. <laughs> here goes Defense Drop. Behemoth Blade's going to fly through here. And who are you going after? Volcarona, probably. But we do have that Sash, which is lovely. The Sash, baby. It's not very effective, but we still eat up all day. Heat Wave comes through. Can this pick up the KO for the win? For the win, baby. Back to back for the first two battles. We got from our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record in today's video. We just beat Zacian in our second battle, so let's try to do it again in our third battle. We're going up against a Zacian team here, alongside with Pelipper, Galarian Zapdos, Grimmsnarl, Seismitoad. Okay, Seismitoad and Incineroar. Seismitoad is definitely uh, has Swift Swim, so we gotta watch out for that speed in the rain. Definitely want to bring Rillaboom just in that case. So we are gonna go Rillaboom and bump, bump, bump. Ooh, we could bring Lapras here. We could bring Lovely Little Lapras. Might lead the Lovely Little Lapras. I do dig it. Let's go Lapras. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I like Lapras because if he sets up rain, we got Thunder hitting 100% of the time, which is big. Which is big news. Do I want to lead him? Do I want to lead? I definitely want to bring Landris, Zamazetta, and Lapras with Real Boom. But what order do I want to go into? Like, who do I want to lead with uh, Real Boom? Definitely Real Boom for lead. He's great to lead. And I'm thinking of going. Thinking. Trying to think. I think I'm going Lando. Let's go Lando. 
Thamazenta and Lapras in the back. And let's get rocking here. Let's look to go back to back perfect records. Considering last video we got perfect record, if we can do it here. I did it maybe. I think my highest is a. Uh, I think it's a seven. It's a seven or an eight win streak on YouTube. On YouTube, my highest win streak, like just playing in general, is. I think it was. I think it was thirteen. I think it was 13, but it was way back in like series like four. I was using a Muzzell team, I was just running it. I was just running it. And I hit like 12 before with a Durant team. I remember when Durant was big. Hustle Durant and just Dynamax him. It's GG's just tailwind, Dynamax, and game over after that. He goes these two guys right here, which I guess I'm cool with. I could fake out onto uh Dacian, but I could also see a protect coming out from Dacian. So he gets the attack boost. Um what do I do? What do I do? What does Jeans do? I think I fake out maybe onto that bird. And maybe sludge bomb off the bird. We'll see. Let's see, I definitely want to fake out. Definitely want to fake out on Zassian. My protect though. You know, I'm gonna read the protect and just fake out onto. It. Is he gonna protect, bro? I think he's gonna protect. So I'm gonna fake out the bird, and I'm just gonna still post that threat with Earth Power over on this lap. That's it. There it is. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it, dude. Knew I should double down into the bird. Knew it all day. But at least we faked out here and uh, get the flinch onto the bird. So turn don't matter. But we still should double down into that bird. I saw it 100%. And I should have done it. I should have done it, man. But it's all good. We can go into a nice, lovely grass glide if we want to. But really not to turn here. We can definitely pick up KO on me. I could swap into Zamazetta here. Which I think is going to be the play considering they have physical attackers out on the field. So we'll save Robin for the back and just drop a big old EP into the Zacian and see how we go from there. I can definitely see a flying move coming out here. Right? And then we get the defense bulk. We should be fine with this swap. And we'll save our grassy little monkey for the back end. Right, grassy little monkey? I got him over here. Got him over here, yo. My boy Grookey. I got all three starters and plushies. Dude, I love them. They just sit on my desk. I definitely need some more uh, desk stuff. So, I'm looking to get like maybe like a little Valorant figure because I play Valorant with my boys all the time. So, I want to get like a little Omen. If any of you guys play Valorant, you know who Omen is. But I got these plushes all on my thing and I absolutely love them. I absolutely love them. But we're going to do the hard swap. We'll get Zamazetta out here and we'll get that defense boost, which is huge considering they have two physical attackers out on the field. And I'm predicting like a flying move coming into there, right? Yeah, Raper comes through here. And Zamazetta says, yeah, that is such a tasty snack. Wonderful. He's going to take some recoil damage from there. And he's going to go for a Behemoth Blade over onto... I'm guessing Lando. I think Lando might be able to eat this. Let's see. Lando, can you eat this, please? I think it's just... He gets a crit. Okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind, man. Of course he gets a crit. Takes out my Landers. That's rough. That is real rough news right there. Super rough news. Now I have to bring out Lapras, which, <laughs> which stinks because he's just going to dump on me here. I don't like this game. I don't like it one bit. This game stinks. This game stinks, man. I could protect, which might be my player. Let me bash over onto you. And I'm thinking of just protecting. Actually, let's go here. Let's go Behemoth Bash into you. I'm just going to protect this Lapras here, because I really do see it. What's it all coming in here? Like a Sacred Sword onto my Lapras. And I end up withdrawing the bird. The bird gets to withdraw. And he's going to send out whom? Cinnamon, maybe? It's a Heisman type coming out of here. That's the token coming out here. Bold move. Thinking I'm going for a thunder. Bold move. Thinking I'm going for a thunder. Behemoth Bash coming in hot. We get off of Protect. Hopefully that Zacian is uh, coming through on this end. Let's see how this one plays through. There's that lovely Behemoth Bash. Getting some damage. Not too much considering he's just defensible. But he's definitely fun to use. He's going to sub. The setup, bro. The setup. You buttery biscuit. You son of a gun. Okay. We setting up hard here with this Zacian. Definitely some trouble. Definitely some trouble here. So I could go for a close combat. I think I'm just gonna go for uh, another Behemoth Bash and just go for maybe a freeze right here. Let's just freeze right on the size, but onto the Soy's Matoad. Let's do it. Soy's Matoad is scary. He probably has Pelper in the back. I think that's his team. Pelper, Zacian, Soy's Matoad, and Galarian Zapdos. Wait, there's no way you're bringing in just Soy's Matoad without the Paloops. Man, I love Pelipper, dude. I love just calling him Paloops. <laughs> I think it's funny all around. Hopefully this Behemoth Bash will take out the sub. I think it will. I think it should be able to do enough damage to take out the sub suit. That's not playing here. Come on, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta take out the sub where we lost this match. Yes, okay. Substitute fade. Alright, that's huge for us. Take our sword's coming through here, and there it is. Oh, it goes after Zamazetta. Zamazetta goes down to that. 
I thought he was going after my lap. Which I, I'm, I'm actually cool with now. I can protect next turn and I get off a nice lovely freeze try. But Earth Power is going to be able to fly through here. And we should be able to eat that up all day. All dang day, baby. Let's do it. Freeze try coming through here. How much damage are we going to do with it? We still have Rollaboom who I can bring out here. It'll be lovely. But we get rid of Seismic Toad. No problem with that freeze try. Which is huge all around. Okay, so we still have Rollaboom. And... Is, do we have Landorus still? Yeah, we didn't, uh... We didn't even use Landorus yet. Oh, we did. Yeah, Landorus did go down. Ouch. This this one's not looking good for you, boy. Landor, yeah, Landorus went down to that behemoth boy. He just slapped up on him. He got the lucky crit. Totally forgot about that. E, not looking good for your boy. I'll take 2-1, though. Winning record all day? I'll take it all day. Um, Fake Out definitely gonna come out here. And I think we're just gonna freeze try. Over onto the bird. Over onto this bird. See how this one plays out. I probably should have read the protect again. Like turn one. Nope, he does not protect. There's another little fake out. We get a nice little flinchy off. And Brave Bird's gonna fly through here. Can you eat this up right here? I don't think you can, but let's see. No, no shot. <laughs> no shot. Brave Bird flies through here. And recoil damage comes through. And Freeze Try is going to be able to finish off this Pokemon. And Lapras with a double KO in this battle. Can he do everybody dirty? Can he clutch up? Can he clutch up? Only way he clutches up is if he eats up a Sacred Sword, but I just don't see it happening. Then we can possibly get to proc, we can take out Zacian. And who's his final mon gonna be? Is it gonna be Paloops? If it is, that, that, that gives us a fighting chance here. Maybe, maybe not, because then he can just hurricane. Is it Paloops? Please show it to me, because I just want to see that Pokemon. No, it's Incineroar! He he's just gonna fake me out. But I'm just gonna protect here. I'm gonna do a lovely little protect. A lovely protect. Protect this one up. Let that fake out pass by. And we'll see what he does from there. Probably Rock and Snarl or something. There's the fake out. And now is he going for the blade. Or not the blade. He's going for the Sacred Sword. Oh, he subbed. Yo, no. <laughs> dude, this dude. This guy, dude. This guy. All right. You know it, man. We're just going to see if we can take out Incineroar. Because we know he's just going to take me out one hit here. Unless he misses attacks, and we can pick up a KO with a Hydro Pump. Sacred Sword comes through. And there it is. Yeah, he was dumping on me in one turn regardless. Zacian, very, very strong. Very OP in my opinion. And he picks up a win in battle number three. I honestly like Zamazetta way more than I thought I would. He rocked out with him on the rank ladder, went 2-1, and grabbed herself that winning record. One last shout out to my boy Hayden for dropping this team. Absolutely love this team and thought it was good all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.